Hey, brother, going down in the red shorts. You got a, you got time, right quick? Hey, come holler at me for a minute. Let me show you something. Please, Let me show you a little something, something. Come around right here. I want you to see a couple of these signs, brother. That's right. On this side. On this side. My bad, big bro. <laughs> hey. Come on. Man. What's your name? My name Eli. Hey, you know who you are going to the Bible? Kinda. It's okay. You know, it's okay. See your prophecy that we want to know. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. Do you see yourself on that sign right there? Like, what's your nationality according to how you living today? African American. You know that term was created with Jesse Jackson in 1986. Bring it out, huh? That's when that's when we even heard about African American. You know what I'm saying? But if we do a little deeper background, you know, African American, them them two European men. You know what I'm saying? We had a man that conquered Africa named Leo Scipio Africanus. Then he named it after him. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Then we had a man that conquered America named Amerigo Vespucci. Then he named it after him. So those two European white men. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So it's evident that we don't come from two men, especially two European men. You right. know what I'm saying? You know? So you said you see yourself on that sign though? Like one side you got the uh biblical names and on the other side you have the names that was given to us uh, by our slave masters in captivity. That's right. So you see, you 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 identify with yourself on that board. What did it say? Judah, Judah. Right. Judah. Right. According to the Bible, you are from the tribe of Judah. That's right. So let me get Deuteronomy twenty-eight. Yeah. I'm gonna show you how we know who Judah is according to the Bible. Yeah. Because see, the Bible said if we didn't do what He commanded us to do, that these curses would come upon us. That's right. So give me what you got. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So right now in the book of Deuteronomy, he's talking to the Israelites. He's right. talking to those 12 tribes right there on this board. That's who he's talking to. He said, if you don't listen to God's laws, read. To observe to do all his commandments yeah. and the statutes which I command thee this day yes. that all these curses that all these what these curses yeah. all these curses shall come upon thee that's what it's going into read yeah. shall come upon thee and overtake thee yeah. to you is curse a good thing or a bad thing it's a bad thing that's you understand right. yeah. so he said all these bad things is going to happen to the Israelites if we do not listen to law statutes and commandments of the most high God that's that's right. Right. give me verse 46 verse 46 and they and shall they them curses that's the that's, that's the whole point of these Deuteronomy 28 right now it's the curses he said and they these curses what shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So these curses gonna be upon the Israelites for a sign and for a wonder. Three. And upon thy seed forever. And upon thy seed forever. So as long as you keep on generating, these curses gonna be upon us as a nation of people. You know what I'm saying? So the curses are not a good thing. Those are evil things that happen to us. Right. So now we're going to try to identify exactly who the Israelites are. Give me verse uh, 16. Read up. Deuteronomy 28 verse 16. I'm going to ask you a few questions too. Read. Cursed shall thou be in the city. It say cursed shall thou be in the city. What nation of people are cursed in the city? Black. The Hispanic. You hear me? So we are, cause we all in this area together. Right. Yes, right. Just like the officer was going over with a couple of brothers and sisters earlier. We came from living in councils to now right. we living in poverty level. Right. Getting gunned down daily. Right. Ain't no justification for the things these other nations doing to right. us. That's right. But it's a curse that happened to the Israelites. That's right. But you, the, but this curse also fit who? The blacks, the right. Hispanics, the Native Americans. Read and cursed. Shall thou be in the field? And cursed shall thou be in the field. Who that relates to? Bring it out. Relates to us. That right. Hold this sign up. We was cursed in the field. Right. Look down there at the bottom. You see that? <clears throat> right. Are those Caucasian people in that field? Are those Japanese people? Chinese people? Are, are those the A-Rails down there picking cotton? You see that? We was the ones cursed in that field. But he also said this was going to happen to the Israelites. You see where I'm getting at? These curses are upon the Israelites for our identification mark. It's showing you today who, we, who, who they are. That's right. You can put it down for me.
So uh, let me get, uh, I'm going to show you another curse. So you said that, that curse is kind of related to the blacks and Hispanics. Give me verse 32. Deuteronomy 28 and 32. Read. Yeah. Thy sons and thy daughters. Thy sons and thy daughters. Read. Shall be given unto another people. Shall be given unto another people. Who did that happen to? It happened to us. But God said these are going to happen to the Israelites. You see where I'm going there with this? Keep reading. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. You remember roots and 12 years of slavery? Every time I, I every time my people's children was being taken and given to another people, what they was doing? Right. And what we was doing while they was happening. Crying. We were sick. Hard broke. You know what I'm saying? Let's read that again. That's what that old prophecy. And thine eyes shall look. And fell with longing for them all the day long. That's what was going on. That's how we was doing right. when it happened. Read. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Did we have any type of physical might to get them kids back when they was taking them away? Yeah. Master Charles took them away. What Was there anything we could do to Master Charles? Couldn't do nothing to him. We had no physical might, no military might, or no economic might to fight to get our children back. Yes, but that's what was happening to the Israelites. And it relates to who? It relates to us. Right. Drop down to, uh, drop down, yeah, 37. Verse 37. And thou shall become an astonishment. So he said the Israelites was going to be an astonishment. A great wonder. It's a great wonder to see our women riding up and down the street, walking around with every type of color out the rainbow in their head. Right. That is a great wonder. You understand? Who else doing that though? Right. You feel me? It's a great woman. It's a great wonder for the woman to labor themselves as the top notch B. Right. They calling each other thoughts. Right. Yes. Right. It's bad enough that we labeling each other. Now the women on board, they labeling themselves. Right. You understand? Those are great wonders. Those are astonishment to the other nation because they looking like, look at them. They know who we are. They like, look at God's chosen people. Right. Look at them. They mocking God like, these the people you chose? Right. You feel me? Read. A proverb and a byword. You know what a proverb is? Yeah, it's, a, it's like a wise saying. What's a, what's a few wise sayings that's on us today? That's right. Bring it out, all right? You know what? Come on, work with me. Black people love what? I'm talking about the wiser ones, the oldest. The black people love chicken, watermelon. If you want to hide something, do what? If you want to hide something from a, a nigga, do what? Put it in a book. Everything that was hidden from us, get what book it's in? It's in the Holy Bible. That's right. That's the book. We got all our hidden secrets in it. You know what I'm saying? Black people are always late. You know what I'm saying? Niggas are always laying down. Lazy. You know what I'm saying? Those are proverbs. Those are wise sayings that was put on amongst our people from the other nations. That's right. What's a wise saying for, uh, the, uh, for the white man? Can't think of one. What's a wise saying for the Chinese man? You, you really can't think of one. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? But these are proverbs that was put upon the Israelites, but they also fit who? It fits us. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Keep reading on that. And a byword. And a byword. A byword is two names, two words. You know what I'm saying? Like African American. Two words. You know what I'm saying? According to the Bible, being homosexuality is a sin. But they label it. If you go both ways, what? What's the by word for that? Bisexual. You know what I'm saying? So by words was put upon our people as well. You know what I'm saying? Read what you got. Among all nations where the Lord shall lead thee. So all nations had words for us. They called us by words. The African call us kata. Means cotton pickers. You know what I'm saying? We had we had names for all nations of people. They, they, they labeled us before they even knew us. And now we label ourselves before we even knew uh, know each other. Mexican, you know what I'm saying? Mexican. Mexicans and wetbacks, chinks. Mexicans, they, they always carry knives. 
You know what I'm saying? We got so many proverbs and bywords on our nation of people because we broke our law. That's, right. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. Keep now to jump down to verse 41. Verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters. Right now, as a nation of people, we, we, we constantly birthing beautiful children. You know what I'm saying? We migrate. We, we doing this. But he said, what going to happen? But thou shalt not enjoy them. But these kids that we have, and we ain't going to get a chance to enjoy them. Yes, we in the midst of captivity. You got some men that work all day and never get a chance to see their kids. Teach up. You know what I'm saying? We Teach subject up. to payment, so therefore we got to work our butts off just to make ends meet. Yes, right. But we sacrifice to seeing our first, uh, our children first words, hearing our they first words, seeing their first steps. These are the things that men sacrifice because we broke God's law. That's right. He said we ain't gonna get to see them. We ain't gonna get to enjoy them like that. Read, for they shall go into captivity. And they go go into captivity right there. We had children down there in the midst of captivity. Soon you was able to move your hands and walk. It was time to go to the field. That's right. That happened to our people. That happened to the blacks and Spanish and Native Americans. We all went into slavery. You know what I'm saying? We all went there. That happened to us. We all got a piece of that, that turmoil. Keep reading. Verse 42. All thy trees and fruit of thy land shall the locusts consume. Verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. So when the Bible speaks about a stranger, it's talking about the other nations. It's not talking about your fellow brethren. That looks just like you. It's talking about the other nation. So what he said about the stranger. The stranger that is within thee. So the nation that is within us. Shall get above thee very high. And thou shall come down very low. As a nation of people, where we at? Is we above or we high? Is we high or we low? Where we at? You know what I'm saying? When you got a kingdom, you have a, a, a ruling class and you have a serving class. That's right. Right now in the, in the white man's kingdom, where, are, where, where we fit in? We the serve, lower class, we the serving class. That's right. right now you got politics going on about how they trying to knock out the lower class people. You right. either go either the middle man gone, you either gonna be rich or poor. They they trying to they trying to figure this thing out. They dealing crafty with our people. That's right. So he said the strangers gonna come up very high. But what happened? Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. Because we were supposed to be up very high. That's supposed to be us. You understand? Read what you got. Deuteronomy 28 and 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So he telling you, if we would have listened and kept the commandments of God, read. To observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. This day, 2019, read. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations You see what he said to happen to us if we was to keep the commandments? He was going to set us above all nations that's on the planet Earth. Right. We're supposed to be the ruling class. That's right. But since we didn't, the flip side, what what did he say? Give me back to 43. What did he say since we ain't want to do right? Since the blacks and Spanish and Native Americans didn't want to keep God laws, what happened to us? The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very the, high. The nations that was within us, the other nation, the so-called white man, going to get up above you. The Aram man going to get up above you. The African man go get up above you. Right. They come over here whenever they feel and get along and bam. They got a storm. Right. They got a stove. Now they serving to our people. We've been here all our life and we can't get nothing. That's what I'm saying. They came up very high. Read. And thou shall come down very low. Then we drop to the bottom. We lower than low. We lower than low right now. If only you can imagine how high we was back then. We lower than low. That's what's going on. Give me verse 45. Verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee. So now that's what's going on. Them sorry curses we just went through, they done came over us. They done pursued us. Now they eating us up and spitting us back out. Read. Till thou be destroyed. Until we be destroyed. Now we are a destroyed nation because we don't even know who we are. We don't know where we come from. We don't know where we're going. You got to know who you are and where you come from in order to know exactly where you're going. You can't put them things together and line them up straight like that if you don't know. Keep reading. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So why are we getting gunned down in the streets? 
because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord so thy God. we live in the midst of poverty? Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So why our women are out of order? Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Why the men out of order? Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Oh, hey, listening. Most High God said he knew we was going to be a rebellious set of people. Give me uh, Nehemiah 9.26. He said he, he said he knew. He knew we were going to be stiff-necked. Can't tell a nigga nothing right now. He going to do whatever he want to do. And if you try to correct them out of love, because that's what this is right here. This love. We out here to correct our people because we see what we going through. We love y'all. Hell, I love you. You know what I'm saying? Read what you got. Nehemiah chapter 9 and verse 26. Read. Nevertheless, they were disobedient. What, 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 what the Israelites was? They were disobedient. You hear that, mama? We in the midst of captivity right now because we was what? Disobedient. We ain't want to keep God laws. We ain't want to keep God laws. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. This one of the ones what got us in the, got us in the midst of our captivity. Deuteronomy just so disobedient. This is why we so messed up right now. Read what you Deuteronomy got. Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. Read the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. You hear that? Right. What pertains to a man that women work today? What pertains to a man that women work today, mama? You know. What you say? Pain. That's what you said. The pain she got out. You hear me? The yeah. same pain. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So what's a woman's garment? What's a woman's garment be, bro? A woman's garment. What's a, a garment? A, a piece of clothing? A blouse that a woman wear. A dress, right? Do you wear dresses? You why? Because you a man, right? You wear dresses because you a man, right? That's what I'm saying. Read from the top again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So we in the midst of captivity because now we cross-dressing in 2019. Yes, the women wearing men pants and the men wearing women pants, uh, dresses. You know what I'm saying? What was, the, what was the saying back in the household when the men was running things? I wore the pants in this household. Right. Now who wearing the pants? The women. That's right. You see how out of course we is? We out of order. Right. We got to establish order. If the men get in order, then the women go follow and they go get in order. Right. But it starts with them first. Keep reading. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So you already know men don't supposed to be out here wearing women garments. But ain't they doing it? Now they got our so-called celebrities, our so-called idols, basketball players in dresses. That's right. Now they got basketball dresses and gowns for men. You see what the nation is doing? They fighting. They fighting against us, and they ain't fighting fair. That's right. They pulling all types of tricks out the hat. Keep reading. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So all the people that's doing this cross dressing, they're abomination to the Most High God. Yes, that's right. what's going on. And it's already evident in the book of Revelation. There ain't no abominable, oh, abominable things getting into the uh, kingdom of heaven. That's right. Y'all, don't y'all want to get into the kingdom of heaven? You know how? Have anybody taught y'all how to get into the kingdom of heaven? How, how are we supposed to get into the kingdom of heaven? By... You say by praying and worshiping. But do you know how to pray? Do you know how to worship? Like the true thing. Give me Matthew. I'm going to show, show you because see our Christian pastor been lying to our people too long. They ain't telling you the truth. How they telling you the truth and they still got the false image of Christ hanging in the balcony. Read what you got. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. And behold one came and said unto him, good master. What good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? He is a regular man, just like us, trying to figure out how, how we fit in. How do we get into the kingdom of heaven? He said, what do I have to do? And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. He like, why you calling me good? There ain't nothing good but one. You know what I'm saying? He ain't taking that glory because he know who the glory goes to. Read. That is God. That is who? That is God. That's God. The most high God get all that glory. Keep reading. But if thou wilt enter into life. You hear You paying attention to me, bro? So we want to get into the kingdom of heaven. Read. Keep the commandments. He said do what? Keep the commandments. He said keep the commandments. That's right. He said keep the commandments. You understand? Give me, I'm finna show you a commandment. Give me new uh, numbers. 
Uh, 15 verse 38. Bring it I'm going to give you a commandment that was given to us that we're supposed to keep. If we want to get to the kingdom of heaven. Read what you got. Numbers 15 and 38. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel. Unto the children of Israel. You remember big bro who I told the children of Israel was? The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. I'm letting you know too. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today are the Israelites of the Bible. Yes, right. And he said, speak to who? Unto the children of Israel. So he talking to y'all. He talking to us. Read. And bid them. And force them. Command them. Read. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. Right here, this is what you call fringes. You see all the brothers that's keeping the commandments of God out here. They got fringes on. They got fringes on because this is our dress code. This was something that was given to us. Not the other nations. That's why I know you like, man, I ain't never seen that before. It was given to us. That's right. It was given to us and ain't nobody trying to teach us our rightful heritage. That's right. Fringe. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And they put upon the fringe of border a ribbon of blue. That's why you'll see a ribbon of blue. This is the dress code for the man and the woman right now. You know what I'm saying? Because the women's supposed to have this on the bottom of their dresses. Yes, Lord. On the bottom of their dresses. Keep reading. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. And it gonna be unto us for a fringe, a mighty fringe. Read. That ye may look upon it. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. And remember all the what? The commandments of the Lord. You see how the most high God keep on throwing the commandments back in the midst of it? Because the laws of God is not done away with. Yeah. Oh, how many pastors say Creflo Dollar Neal, all them wicked pastors, TD Snakes, all of them. I don't care how many times they said the Bible yeah. never said the laws of God was done away with. Yeah. Yeah. And do them. And do what? And do them. You must do the commandments of God. Read. Yeah. And that ye seek not after your own heart and, and your own eyes after which you used to go a whoring. And he said, so we won't seek after that. Give me Proverbs 3 and 5. He said we were supposed to seek after our own hearts. We was a whore. We was going after our own mind and hearts after turning our women into prostitutes. Whoring our women out. Killing each other. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Selling drugs and selling guns to our community so we can up. use them on each other. Yeah. Read what you got. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Read. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. He said trust in the Lord with all your heart. That's what's supposed to be going on right now for the Israelites. Read. And lean not unto thy own understanding. He said, don't lean on your own understanding because your thoughts are wicked. Yes, Your right. thoughts wicked. Right, you see a big booty girl walk right down here right now. What's your thought process going to be? Come on. This man talking to men now. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be thinking about how to knock her down. You're going to be thinking about how I can get with her. But give me uh, uh, Matthew 5. Bring it out. But this is what the most high God say if that situation was to happen. If you see your sister that's dressing inappropriately, because that's what's going on, she's not in modest apparel. That's, that's right. what's going on. That ain't what God told her to do. She out of order. She being disobedient if she was to walk down her life there right now. Read Matthew chapter 5 and verse 27. You have heard that it was said by them of old time. Thou shalt not commit adultery. So it was already put in, in order that we weren't supposed to commit adultery since old time, since the beginning. Read. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her. So you losing your eyes. So you see, you like, man, man, you can't even control yourself. Your legs get to twitching it. You know what I'm saying? You get to moving all funny. You get to losing, trying to thought, read. Hath committed adultery with her already so in his you heart. See, honey, you do that. You already done committed adultery. Now you in the midst of sin. That's right. You done broke the law right there. Right. Now that thought process will keep you from getting into the kingdom of heaven. That's right. Because now you ain't keeping the commandments no more. Right. See, that's what's going on. That's what we're trying to show our people. You must come back into the law, statutes, and commandments right. of the Most High God. Yes. That's the only way we're going to make it. Give me Revelation 22 and 14. That's the only way we're going to get into this kingdom. You want the kingdom, right? Ain't you tired of this? Look at this. Look at us. Like, literally. Pay attention. You go out to the, all them good, nice neighborhoods the white people stay in. They neighborhoods don't look like this. That's right. You better not make a mistake and drop a piece of paper on their neighborhood. They, you getting fined. You know what I'm saying? 
Read what you got. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 14. Read. Blessed are they that do his commandments. You got a lot of our people talking about I'm blessed, highly favored, and sanctified. Right. That's all I heard. I don't need that. I don't, I don't got to hear it because I'm already blessed. But this is what the true blessing is right here. Read. Blessed are they that do his commandments. That do his commandments. Do his commandments. Do his commandments. You must do the commandments. It's a must. That must happen. Read. That they may have right to the tree of life. That's why. That's how you go get into the tree of life. That's how you go get the kingdom of heaven. We got to do right. We got to do right. I'm going to show you another law that our people probably don't know. Give me Leviticus. I mean, not Leviticus. Uh, give me 1 Corinthians 11. Bring it start out. at verse 1. I'm going to show you another thing that can help get us back in order so we won't be out here breaking the laws of God. Yes, right. See, right now, we think we under grace. We think we cool. I can go shoot my brother as long as I say I'm sorry and I believe in God. I'm still getting into the kingdom. Man, that's unlikely. It's not happening. That's it's right. not happening. I'm being real with you. It's not happening. You go die. Keep on breaking God's laws. You go die. Read what you got. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 1. Here we go another commandment. Read. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. So we're That's supposed right. to be followers of Christ. That's the true meaning of being a Christian. That's right. You follow Christ. Christ kept the commandments, didn't he? That's right. Didn't Christ keep the commandments? He, he kept the Passover. He ain't keep Christmas though. Right. He ain't celebrate Mother's Day. That's right. He ain't celebrate Easter. That's right. So if he ain't do that, we don't supposed to be doing it. That's he said, right. be followers of me as I am of Christ, Reed. Right. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. Now he's delivering an order to us. Right. Read. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. You hear that? The head of every man is Christ. That's Christ is the head of man, read. And the head of the woman is the man. Who the head of the woman? Who the head of the woman? But right now, you see how the roles are reversed? You got the women talking about how I better not let this Negro be the head of me. Yes, yes, right. Out of order. Right. We out of order. Teach, huh? We out of order. You should be mad just like when you put your 50 cent in for that cold drink and it mess up. Then you realize it's out of order. Now you yes, want to beat right. the machine up. You understand? Yes, right. You need to be that just that mad to find out your people is out of order and find out the solution so you can fix it. Keep reading. Yes, and the head of Christ is God. So the head of Christ is God. So you got God, you got Christ, you got man, then you have woman. That's, right. That's the order. That's the true order. Keep reading. Every man praying or prophesying. Hey, listen to this, big brother. Every man praying or prophesying. Right now we in the midst of prophecy. Because we going through prophecy. We bringing the prophecy to life. We just went through the curses. And I ain't them curses living right now today. So it read. Having his head covered dishonoreth his head. You hear that big bro? So if we got our head covered while we going through the prophecy. We're dishonoring Christ. Then we're dishonoring God. So right now you are considered in the midst of sin right now. You know why? Because your head covered. What's true repentance? To turn away from your sins. So what you gonna do right now? When you in the midst, why why you up here conversating with me? And how you repent by this law right here? Read it again, for so you can understand. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. Right now, your head covered. So right now you showing major disrespect to the ones above you. So what you gonna do? There you go. Take it off. You got to take it off and keep it off. Don't, don't cock it. You got to really keep it off because, see, you showing dishonor. Read it. Uh, show it. Show it. Verse 4. Verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So, so the head of you is Christ. So with your head on and you in the midst of prophecy or you praying, man, you ain't showing love to Christ. You ain't showing love to the Most High God. You showing fake love. You being fake because now you know. That's why we must have our hands uncovered when we in the midst of prophecy. Keep reading. It's a, oh, that's for the men, but it's one for the women as well. Read. Verse 5. But every woman that prayeth or prophesied with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head. You caught that one? So the women, if they get caught praying or prophesying with their head uncovered, they dishonoring their head. And who the head of them? The man, Christ, God. You understand? 